Hello and welcome to this introduction of VPN and Remote Desktop. This is going to show how you should be able to work from home if you are not able to or not wanting to go into the office. So let's get started. We'll start with a VPN. Uh, normally when you're at work you have an office environment where you have several computers and printers all connected to each other through your network. And then VPN usually works best for something like a laptop where you take it home and then you try to connect from there. When you do that, you need to have a VPN server. But then you install the VPN client on your laptop that you've taken home, you run that, and now it's as if you've plugged in a really long internet cable and you are able to work as if you were there at work. It's on the same network, you use the same printers, you use the same files, the same shared folders. Everything works as if you were there at work. And the good thing about that is that you have a very secure connection, you have encryption, you have passwords, you have files that have to be installed on that computer to make it work, so it's very secure. However, you are limited to whatever your internet speed is on your uploads from your work and your download speed at home. A lot of people only have between 20 and 100 megabit service at home, whereas when you're physically at work, you have gigabit speed. So you are going to notice that opening files, transferring files, is going to be slower when you're connected over a VPN. That's just how it works. Now, if you look at how a remote desktop works, that's different. That's like looking at your work computer from another one. So you leave your desktop computer at work, it connects and is left on, and then at your home computer, at your desktop, you will actually be able to see that from where you are at home. You can see everything that your computer at work is doing, you can control the keyboard and the mouse, you can open files and all the same programs that you do at work on your work computer, you're just remote controlling it from home. You can do that from a desktop, a laptop, a tablet, you can even do it from a cell phone in most cases. And the good thing about that is it really doesn't take much to run a remote desktop and to do remote control like that. It's a very lightweight thing, even on a slow connection. It works really well. Uh, the problem is on most of these connections, it's not very secure. But by itself, you know, Microsoft's remote desktop solution is not secure. Other things like VNC server are not secure. Uh, there are some paid options that you can do that you pay like monthly subscriptions to something like Team Viewer, and there you'd be able to have a secure connection without a VPN server. There is a new one now from Google. Uh, Google Remote Desktop allows you to connect over SSL, which is nice. You have certificates. However, you are trusting Google completely to not take or monitor any of that data and that they are really leaving that private to you. So how much you trust Google, and the remote desktop to do it completely secure is up to you on a long-term basis. So just to recap, VPN is good for fast internet connections and laptops you might take home. Remote desktop is good for slow connections and for when you're leaving your computer at work. VPNs are slow as far as opening large files. Remote desktop opens those same files very quickly However, if you're doing anything with video, it's going to be really choppy and it's less secure than what a VPN is. VPNs are normally more expensive to set up because it takes some time and some understanding on setting up all the certificate servers and making sure all of that is connectable. And remote desktop actually is really pretty quick. You can install that with very little effort. So hope this helps you understand what you can do to install a VPN or remote desktop for whatever your needs may be. Have a great day.